we're now going to talk about rational inequalities. And what we're going to build is what we call sign tables to help us figure out what's going on. And so we're going to start with a very basic sign table. And we're going to just recreate a number line across the top. And I'm just going to label a couple of points. Let's say minus 3, minus 1, 2, and 5. And notice that spacing doesn't matter as much as the relative placement. And so then we're going to have factors x plus 3, x plus 1, x minus 2, and x minus 5. Going across, and we're going to put the completed thing, which I'll explain in just a minute, but it's the sum total of what we're building in our sign table. And so we start with each row, and we say, if I take x plus 3, and I want to know where it's 0, that's right here. x minus, if I plug minus 3 in for x, I get 0, so it's 0 here. If I plug something bigger than minus 3 in, say minus 2, minus 2 plus 3 is 1, and 1 is positive. If I plug something between minus 1 and 2, which is 0, I get positive 3. If I pick 3, I get positive 6. If I pick 6, I get positive 9. If I pick something smaller than minus 3, say minus 4, I get a negative. And so from where I'm 0, I am positive to the right and negative to the left. So we do the same thing with the x plus 1, and I'm 0 here at minus 1, and I'm positive as I get bigger, but I'm negative as I get smaller. And this pattern just continues. So we find out where we're 0, and then anything to the right is positive, and anything to the left is negative. Now that I've done my individual factors, I can look at this and I can add up all of the signs, and then negative times a negative times a negative times a negative is a positive. Three negatives is negative. Two negatives is positive. One negative is negative, and no negatives is of course, positive. And so now I have my completed row, and I know whether everything is positive or negative, and I know the ranges in which that's true. So I can use this sign table to solve rational inequalities. So let's suppose we have x minus 3 over x plus 1 is greater than 0. So I want to know the range where x minus 3 over x plus 1 is bigger than 0. But to do that, I need to know when the top is positive and the bottom is positive, because that divides to a positive. And I also need to know when the top is negative and the bottom is negative, because that also divides to a positive. We can't just clear the rational here. We can't just multiply both sides by x plus 1 because of the inequality. That doesn't help us at all. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at our numerator, and we ask, what makes the numerator 0? And the answer is 3, and only 3. And we look at the denominator, and we see what makes the denominator 0, and that's negative 1. So I now have my ranges on my s real number table when I go to build my sign table. I have 1 at minus 1, and I have 1 at 3. Now what I don't know is whether they're included or not, whether they're open or closed. And so we look here, and we notice this is a strictly greater than, so the numerator is included. The denominator is always open, because we can never be equal to 0. So we always, always, always put an open circle here. So the minus 1 is an open circle, and the 3 happens to be an open circle because of the strictly greater than. We then write our factors in, x minus 3, x plus 1, and these each get their own row. We're going to get our completed piece, which is x minus 3 over x plus 1, put that underneath. We then fill in where it's 0, so x minus 3 is 0 with 3. It's positive to the right and negative to the left. We repeat the process for x plus 1. It's positive to the right and negative to the left. And now we just count our negatives. Positive, negative, positive. Let's make that other negative ring. Since we're looking for the regions that are positive, that's what this says, we shade in everything above the positive sign. And then we just read our answer, going from left to right, minus infinity to minus 1. And we get a union, because we're going to start back up at 3 and end at infinity. And so this is how we can use a sign table to solve a rational inequality. Now, I want to look at one more 
just because we want to keep track of it. Suppose we have x plus 3 over x minus 1 is greater than 2. So now we've got a little bit of work cut out for us. The first thing we have to do is get a 0 over here. So we're going to subtract 2 from both sides. And let's set that greater than 0. But now I need to combine this to a single rational. So we need to multiply by x minus 1 over x minus 1. So our denominators are the same. Then we get x plus 3 minus 2x minus 2 over x minus 1. Distribute to get x plus 3 minus 2x plus 2 over x minus 1. And this is still greater than 0. And when we combine like terms, we get minus x plus 5 over x minus 1 is greater than 0. And so our piece that we're looking at is a negative x minus 5 all over x minus 1 is greater than 0. So our numerator is 0 at 5. Our denominator is 0 at 1. Our denominator is never included. And our numerator is also not included because it's not an or equals. We draw our number line. 1, 5. We put our open circles on. We take an x minus 5, an x minus 1, and a negative sign, because we have to include every factor on top before we get our completed piece. We then drag this down, and let's start with the easy one. A negative sign is always negative. For our x minus 5, that's 0 at 5, and so we get a positive to the right and a negative to the left. For our x minus 1, that's 0 at 1, so we get positive to the right, negative to the left. We then add the negatives together to get negative, negative on the outside, and the positive on the inside. Since we are, in fact, working for a positive, then we want the middle range, and our answer is 1 to 5.